Uh, my message to her is please stop lying to these people and you can tell them the real reason I left you, you cheated. I called you in the house with Bradley and we went to marriage counseling, didn't work, and we broke up. Oh my god! So Legion responded to Risa Tisa, he's now on TikTok, saying that she is lying about her 50 plus part who the fuck did I marry story. Now listen. If you guys are naive and you feel like you know people because of their presence on the internet, I am not saying she's lying. We, all of us collectively, the 100,000 people that have seen this story, we don't know these two people. I personally believe her because she seems like a good soul. I liked the story. I've been sucked in. I've been watching. I have no reason to believe her. I also have no reason to not believe her. So as for my sake, I'm choosing to believe her, right? I am telling you, I am telling you, if something happens, I'm not saying it will, and I'm not trying to trivialize or make light of her trauma, if it comes out that she has lied, that will stop the nation. What the fuck is that? Anyways, Risa Tisa, we stand with you, girl. It's fuck Legion all 2024 until proven otherwise. We gotta stick together, y'all. Decided who I'm gonna talk to exactly or go on who's Mr. Legion the Leech. Legion the Leech, honey. Let me tell you if you talk about talking to somebody. Do you know what that lawyer's gonna say? <laughs> he gonna ask you for proof of funds, honey. He gonna ask you, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna choke on that. Yeah, just like you choked out all those fucking houses and everything else, honey. Look, this is day two of living like in the 90s where I got to keep my phone on charge to watch all these series. You hear me? Oh, Lord. Yeah, but they going to want proof of funds. They sure are. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all keep watching. Y'all, I read a comment, though, because uh, he talked about arena football with his knee. <laughs> Somebody said the damn printer fell on his damn knee. Ain't that some funny shit? Lord have mercy. This is so fun. I'm sorry, but I like drama, but not my drama. I like everybody else's. You know what I mean? Okay, bye. The rumor, Risa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's, um... You're sad, lying ass. Um, because it's completely false. Of everything. More to the point, I haven't decided who I'm going to talk to exactly or go on whose page or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that she lied about everything. Follow her, don't follow her, that's up to you. All that stuff she said, it's complete lies. I can't believe this ninja, this ninja had the nerves to respond. This when you know somebody don't have no marbles, no sense to respond. She kept your name private. She kept your identity private. But you such a narcissist, you came out and responded. Are you a ninja or what? What kind of ninja are you? Man, go to bed. Go to bed and stay off this TikTok. Go to bed. But uh, my message to her is please stop lying to these people. But uh, my message to her is please stop lying to these people and you can tell them the real reason I is left you, really you cheated. Him? I called you in the house with Bradley. He looks like a fucking liar. And we went liar. to marriage house and didn't work and we broke up. Look, say the same thing. It looks like Risa Tisa's husband or ex-husband responded. He made a video. It's on TikTok. Just look up, search Legion, and he'll pop up. But if anybody, any of y'all, believe anything that's coming out of this man's mouth, then you are the most delusional person I've ever fucking met. Anything that comes out of that man's mouth is a lie. He's a pathological liar. He's going to try to turn, twist things to make things go in his way. No, he's a, li he's a liar. Please do not believe a thing this man says. And also, let's not give him the platform to re-victimize Risa again. Because, because that's what he's going to try to do is try to re-victimize her by telling lies on her and coming out and creating more chaos in her life 
She does not need any more chaos from this man's life. Please do not follow this man. Do not listen to his story. Nobody should bring him to bring bring him on his platform because he's a freaking liar. Do not listen to this man. <sighs> Y'all, it is 5.17 in the morning and I'm headed to the gym. Like I'm sitting outside the gym and my friend texts me and was like, girl, he responded. So I immediately get on TikTok trying to find where this man, Legion, has responded. And I start seeing videos of this guy who was like, y'all, my ex is lying. It's like two, I want to say maybe he posted it on his stories on something, maybe on Facebook. I don't really know. But it's two little things like he was really saying, oh, she lying. Um, it's not true. She, uh, I caught her cheating with somebody, I think named Clarence. I'm like, I'm looking at this man. I'm like, it ain't the truth. The truth ain't in you. The truth is not in you. Everything that she has said, I even more believe now because if you look at the video, the glazed over look that she was talking about in his eyes, it, it it's obvious. It's so obvious. Now, because I'm who I am, I I will be okay with, you know, hearing both sides because again, there's always two sides to every story. But just that first little bit that he posted or that he went live or whatever he did with that was saying, oh, she's lying. Nothing about what he said made sense or nothing about what he said made me believe that she is lying about what she said on top of that the next thing out of his mouth was i haven't figured out who i'm gonna tell my story to sir tell your story the same way she told her story she got on here i don't even think she was in the creator platform at first she was just telling her story and everybody in the comments was like join the creator program join the creator program she did not get on here initially trying to make a coin she didn't know if this was gonna go viral she didn't know anything she just got on and she was telling her story you on the other hand immediately go to i gotta figure out who i want to tell my story because you trying to make a coin off of this like we're not gonna know you're lying on top of that the majority of the things that she said she was very detailed with everything she said that means that that's that's the same thing i was when i went through a really very similar situation i can tell you what that man had on i can tell you the things he did the day he did it the time i got home and found my house looking the way that it did i can remember everything because again it's etched in my head it is a traumatic experience she had details and the majority of her details can easily be found like everybody can you can look up public records if we wanted to right now do you feel like it's not people right now in atlanta that's getting up this morning to go down to public records to pull up these records to see if she is telling the truth do you not believe that there are people right now obviously if they found you as fast as they found you you don't think there's people that's gonna find the rest of the information so that they can make their tiktok videos saying look at the information i have and and putting her parts where she says certain things next to the the truth or whatever evidence they didn't found on you so before you get back on this internet and try to say she is lying you better have some proof to back that up because we're not gonna believe nothing you have to say nothing not a bit and for those people who are saying oh she's stupid she's stupid she's numb she said she was she admitted it she admitted that she made a terrible decision her whole beginning of this whole thing was i was dumb i did something that i shouldn't have done i ignored all the red flags because we know when we do something that is not right once this happened we can look at ourselves and say you know what i, I never should have done that I never in a million years should have been with that person. I never in a million years should have allowed that person to have access to me the way they did. And she said all of that. So the fact that this man, I can't even, I can't even, I'm ready for it. I mean, I'm going to hear it, whatever he has to say, unless he goes to some kind of blogger where it's very obvious that they not, they going to lie. Like if it's one of those, I don't even want to hear it. But if you really want us to hear your story, you can get on here and you can post your stories the same way she did. But if you do choose to do that, you better have that evidence. You better have something to back it up. And understand that we know how to use Google image search, reverse search. We know how to use Google. So don't come trying to show, you know, some fake bank statements or nothing like that. Because one thing about us, like we found you, we gonna find the truth. We gonna find the truth. So let's talk about how Legion Legend, his response video.
Like, sir, first of all, why did you feel like you needed to make a response video? This man still lying, y'all. <laughs> Delusional at its finest. Why is this man still lying? He talking about stop lying to these people, Risa or Ressa. You know I walk in on you cheating on me with Bradley. Sir. Sir. I don't care what nobody say, bruh. That shit is scary as fuck, bruh. Dealing with somebody who lies like that, like, that's a mental illness. Like, the killing part is, once she said he a Gemini, baby, that's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know is that he a Gemini. That's all I need to know. It makes sense. My ex a Gemini, never the fuck again. But it's the internet for me. Y'all move too fast. Y'all found him too fast. I mean like this. And the fact that his delusional ass is still sitting over there lying, creating stories in his mind, like getting up every day to fake talk on the phone. Man, that's a fucking mental problem, bro. Surviving legend. Risa, Ressa, kudos to you. You made it, girl. You got out. Live your life. Get that money and run that shit the fuck up with them views, baby. You, 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 you got TikTok in a whole chokehold right now. And I don't care what nobody's saying. I don't care what nobody's saying. I need you to make a book. And I need you to make it ASAP. Uh, my message to her is please stop lying to these people. And you can tell them the real reason I left you, you cheated. I called you in the house with Bradley. And we went to marriage counseling, didn't work, and we broke up. Please, please, please. Write a book. We've been watching Risa Tisa's story. Now, I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews on why would I expose him and why would I show You have been watching her story. She talked about how, aside from her, he has done this to at least three women. So what if the first wife was to get on TikTok and expose him, right? This would have never even happened to her or all the other women. A lot of times we protect abusers. And I know we do it because we're afraid, right? They've ruined our lives, our mental health, our bodies, our self-esteem, our confidence, right? But I think it's time, right? Myself too. There's a, as a little girl, there's a lot of people in my life starting from maybe seven years, eight years, nine years old who have done things to me that nobody knows anything about. Imagine if I were to say something. Imagine if I were to expose these people. I'm 31 now. Imagine how many other people have experienced what I experienced because I didn't say anything. So I felt like it was important for us and other women to know who he is so that they can protect themselves. And I know it's hard. I know it's scary. But sometimes it is important for us to expose our abusers. Uncle that you got to see every single holiday. Those older cousins that did things that never should have happened. It's time that we start saying these things happen to you. You know that you live in the darkness, right? You live with the shame, the embarrassment, the guilt, the confusion, the insecurity. And the sad part is those men get to go on and continue their lives. And they get to keep doing this to other people. You know how much power and strength it took for her to even say something, right? To even share this with us, right? Say it. Tell your story. And know that you're going to be okay. And don't be afraid. I think, we, I think we as women need to come together. All right. Love y'all. Bye. If you've been following Risa Tisa's story like we all have been, you might be wondering, what was the letter from Chase Bank that he showed her, that he showed the realtors early on? Because if you remember, a lot of Legion's lies that were actually pretty believable to this very intelligent woman were predicated upon this pre-approval letter from Chase Bank. How did he get that? Did he use those screenshots from like a fake bank account? I think what he might have had was a pre-qualification letter. A pre-qual is not a pre-approval. This is a pre-approval, an actual one for my clients who are about to close on their home. As you'll see here, that's all been verified. I have all that stuff. And their asset statements or bank statements are authenticated by me in a very specific, stringent, meticulous process. They can't be forged. A pre-qualification, I don't do them for this reason, is self-reported. Legion gets on the phone with the bank, lender, let's say, and this guy does pre-quals and he tells him, I'm I'm a VP at a condiment company and I make $275,000 a year and I have $5 million in an offshore bank account and I don't have any debt, my credit's 820. And the guy says, great, thanks. Based upon that information, here's a pre-qualification letter for up to $750,000. That's all it takes. A pre-qualification is not a pre-approval. So Risa Tisa is teaching us a lot until they met Amber, the realtor. He was able to kind of slide under the radar. And that might be why. Pre-qualification letters are not pre-approvals. They do not constitute proof of funds. But if you don't look closely, they could look very similar.